think it takes about 20 or 30 cases to become comfortable with the imaging technique and how to position the camera, how to time the dye injections and and feel comfortable doing all of the manual parts of the procedure. Uh, interpretation of the images is something that uh, can take a little bit longer, but fortunately there's a huge library of images that surgeons can look at now, so we don't have to have that learning curve on patients. We can do that uh, offline. Uh, like almost anything else in surgery, the, the more cases you see and the more familiar you are with the technology, uh, the better you become and the more useful the technology uh, becomes. And ultimately, the more important it is for your patients and the better your patient's outcome. We developed a, a four-point scale to grade the spy angiograms. Uh, spy grade zero is when there's no flow or total occlusion. There's no flow into the graft there's no flow into the distal coronary vessel. Spy grade one is partial perfusion. So there is some flow going into the graft, there is some flow trickling into the target vessel, but it is perceptibly too slow and abnormal. And that graft needs to be revised. Spy grade two uh, is another instance of partial perfusion where there is better flow through the graft that you do eventually fill the distal coronary bed but that it washes out more slowly than one would expect uh, and there may be a problem with that vessel. And finally spy grade 3 which has normal flow through the graft uh, and a rapid washout through the distal target bed. In terms of training, one of the best ways to train is, is to uh, attend some of these you know, visionary meetings. The reasons why that helps is because there's a lot of cases presented in a short amount of time, and there's discussion over the cases, so you can gain a lot of experience uh, looking at different images of, uh, from a lot of different surgeons, the problems, the technical problems, uh, the interpretation, and, and possibly new ways of approaching uh, those problems. This technology will give us, I believe, the opportunity to begin to look at those things from a scientific basis and determine um, what, what works and what doesn't work. And I believe those factors will contribute significantly to improving the short-term and long-term outcomes from bypass surgery because they will impact on the short-term and long-term patency of the graphs that we, that we do. Over the years, we've looked at more than 400 uh, patients uh, with the spy angiography system. Uh, and uh, over the years, we've developed techniques uh, which allow us to constantly look at almost every spy angiogram and determine graph patency.